Hey guys, what's up? Paul here. Welcome to Hub City Drones and Gadgets. Thanks for stopping by and checking out the channel, you guys. I do appreciate it. If you have not done it yet, you guys, hit that subscribe and that notify button. You don't want to miss any of our upcoming videos, do you? Today, you guys, we're going to check out BNA's Light Tracer Twist Tank. This is one super cool little RC tank, you guys. It comes with four interchangeable heads. It has a Nerf Dart Launcher, a Bubble Blaster, a Water Spray Head, and a Twist Stunt Head. Mechanum tires, that means it can move in every direction, plus it can move across carpet with ease. That's awesome. But one feature that's really cool, you guys, is the light chaser feature. The controller has a trigger on it, and when you push that trigger in, a laser beam comes out of the controller. Pointed at the floor, this little dude chases the laser beam around the room in all four directions, and it does a really neat transformation from normal mode to four-wheel drive mode. It even has some really awesome LED lighting effects too. But one thing that really impressed me with this tank, you guys, is that you can actually operate multiple tanks at one time without the controllers interfering with each other. So you can get yourself a tank, get the kids a tank, have some tank wards with them. They'll absolutely love it, you guys. You're going to absolutely love the price, though. Check this out. Right now on Amazon, under 69 bucks. That's a great deal for this RC tank, you guys. The link, as always, is down in the description. Before you click that link, let's go unbox this dude and check out everything that it comes with. Then I'm going to show you guys how to set it all up. Then we'll take this dude to my living room and we're going to test him out and see just what he can do. Let's go. All right, guys, here we go. We are going to unbox the VNA Light Tracer Multifunctional Twist Tank. Here's the box that it comes in. Got a really cool picture of the tank on the front. But let's open it up, get this dude out of the box, and check it out and see what we got in here. Here we go. It's going to be loud. Get ready. Oh, check all that out. Very, very cool. Whoa. All right. What the heck? We got all kinds of stuff on here. So let's go ahead and... Oh, my God. It's so loud. Looks like we got a bag full of all kinds of accessories here. This is cool. I will dump all this out here. <laughs> and then we'll check it out and see what all we got. Look at all that stuff. So what's this? We got a VNA Bring the Fun... The most fun, bring in the most fun. Hello, my majesty. So a little card here. Tell them if you're happy or unhappy with your purchase. That's pretty cool. And then we have some manuals here. How many we got? We got one, two. Looks like we got three manuals. So you will have a manual for each of the uh, heads that it does. Uh, for instance, like this one here. This is your multifunction battle remote controlled tank. The EVA bullet turret function instructions. This is how to put your laser pointer and your bullet turret on your tank. I'm going to show you how to do that. That one is probably, I don't want to say it's the hardest one, but you really got to be easy with that one and do it just right in order for it to work properly. But it's not hard to do. I'm going to show you how to do it. Then we have our next manual. Oh, we actually have four manuals, not three. This is for the bubble turret. This one is so cool, you guys. The kids absolutely love the bubble one. Really easy to do, too. And um, I'm going to show you guys how to do that one. We'll check that one out when we test this little dude out. It's going to be really cool. And then we have our spray turret manual. So it's cool. They give you a little separate manual for each turret so you know how to set it up, how to get it all ready. This one is super cool, too, you guys. This one 
is the, uh, they call it the water spray. It's more like a really huge mist that comes out of the end of this turret and it looks like smoke. It's just such a fine mist. It's really, really cool. I have a couple RC cars and a dinosaur that does the same thing and it's just really cool. Then we have, this is like our main manual right here, your infrared sensing twist RC tank instruction. You got some QR codes here, a promotional video on, operating, operating video one. I'm going to show you all how to do that, but it shows you everything on your controller, how to set it all up. Very cool. Read your manual, guys. It's really important to read the manuals. It just shows you how to set everything up properly. So this way it's all working the way it's supposed to, and you don't think your tank is broke because you didn't set it up right. So read your manuals. All right, what else we got here? So we have our bubble holder bottle this is the bottle you'll put your bubbles in it's got two holes here for the tubes i'm going to show you that when we set the dude up this is our water spray container you kind of just push it in suck the water up in it and then you put it in that turret and it makes that water mist smoke spray oh check it out it actually comes with two double a batteries for the remote control that's cool it included the batteries that's awesome then we have our laser pointer this thing's cool you guys there's a little tab here you got to pull it out we're going to do it now and we're going to turn this on and check it out it's a laser pointer ready here we go close your eyes ah i'm gonna get you look at that that's just so cool this thing is going to be so much fun this really doesn't do anything it's just a little added fun to kind of aim your nerf dart turret around but it's really cool i like that they added this a cool little touch to it then we have one tank repair tool this would be pretty much for your controller to put the batteries in and out of course it's a phillips head screwdriver one charging cable for our battery and you do get one 3.7 volt 1200 mah lipo tank engine this is your tank's engine or lipo battery tank engine sounds a hell of a lot cooler though doesn't it you can charge this with a 5 volt 2 amp charger box you have to use the included charger cable because it has that special connector on the end right there. 90 to 150 minutes to fully charge your batteries, guys. But check this out. You get up to 60 minutes of battle time on one battery. So almost a complete hour of playtime with this thing. That is really cool. What else we got here? Let's check it all out. Here we go. Our foam darts. These are our foam Nerf darts. You get 10 and 10. Put them together. Gives you 20 of them. Very cool. This is for our Nerf dart turret. We'll check that out in a minute. I think we got everything off here. So now we're going to check this dude out. Here we go, you guys. Oh, look at this thing. This thing is so cool. If you guys haven't seen my other video, I did another video on a tank similar to this. But this is an upgraded model. The body design is different, and it's really cool what this thing does. I can't wait to show you guys how this thing works in the test. It's so much fun to do. But anyway, let's get our tank out first since it's right here. We might as well, right? Check this out. So here is our tank. It is in the four-wheel drive mode right now. When you put it in normal mode, these things kind of come out. I'll show it to you when we test it. Very cool. I like the design. It's, it's designed really cool. Your battery compartment is here on the bottom. Your power switch is right here. And these are our mechanum tires. These things are so cool, you guys. These tires allow this tank to pretty much go over any terrain. And it allows it to go forward, backwards, and to turn in a circle and go sideways. Super cool. We'll check out every direction when we uh, try this dude out. We have our, this is our stunt tank turret head that's on here right now. This is a cover you can put on here when you just want to use the tank this way. So pretty cool they have a cover so the connectors and that all aren't all hanging out. This thing is super cool, you guys. I'm going to try to keep it right here so you guys can check it out. Oh, but on the sides, we have our laser sensors are right here. So we can go forward, backward. As I told you in the opening with the controller, you can point the laser light and he will follow and chase that light around the floor. It's really cool. We're going to definitely check that out. All right, let's see. What do we have next? So let's check out our foam dart ammo cartridge. So this is the Nerf dart turret. This is the cartridge that you get with it. These pop right on 
to the tank. I'm going to show you in the setup. I'll do a setup because I want to show you guys how to put this thing together the right way so it works for you. Because if you put it on the right way and it works properly, it is so much fun to play with this tank. But this is our turret. Your Nerf darts go in here. It holds 10 of them at a time. That's so cool. If I can remember where it goes. Anyway, let's put this back over here for now. I'll figure it out. Hold on. Maybe not. Oh, I got it backwards, right? Come on. There we go. Hey. This one right here is our bubble turret. Really cool. It's got a little door here on the back that you just open up. Check it out. You got your two tubes right here. And your bottle will go in here. I'm going to show you that in the setup as well. But right now, we're just going to check out everything that we get with this dude. Very cool. And again, it'll pop right onto our tank. That's awesome. And then we have, check this out, you guys. This one, in my opinion, this is the coolest turret head in this whole set. This is the water spray turret head. Very cool. It has an LED light that lights up on the inside here. And you can see it just highlights the mist. It's really cool. But you just put your water right in there. Again, with our water filler upper thing. Pours it right in here. Put the cap on. And you're good to go. And again, this does mount right here on top of the turret. Look at that. That just looks cool with that on there. That's cool. But that is our water spray turret. And if I can remember how it went back in here. We will go on to the next one. All right. Now we're going to check out this controller, you guys. Check this controller out. I'm going to move this stuff out of my way a little bit. This is super cool, you guys. It does take the two AA batteries. They just pop right in here. There's your screw. You can undo it. and They pop right in the side here. On the top, check this steering wheel out, you guys. This is really cool. This is actually your rotation wheel. This will make him spin around in a circle. Whichever way you turn it, he's going to spin. That is super cool. Right here, we have some buttons. I don't think I put batteries in it yet, or I would turn it on and show you guys, but there's a power button here. Oh, I did look. Check it out. Oh, I put batteries in it already. Didn't think I did that. So the buttons on the back here... You have your forward, backward, you have your slide left, your slide right, or your turn left and right button. The middle one, of course, is your power button. This is also your lights on and off and your music on and off button. Down here, your one button twist function. You press this, the tank will twist around. This key over here is really cool too. This is your one key demo. If you press this, I think there's two or three different demos that this thing will just do its own little thing. It's really cool to watch. And this will change your different music. This thing actually has like three or four different uh, songs that it plays. So that's really cool. But check this out, you guys. On the front. Look at this big old thing. This right here is... <laughs> you ready? This is your laser beam. This thing will actually shoot a laser beam out. I don't have it paired yet, so it won't do it. But there's a laser beam that will shoot out of here. It shoots pretty damn far, too, and you just shoot it on the floor, and the tank will sense that beam from either side of the tank, and it will follow it. So if it's in front of it, it goes forward, sideways, and look how that thing slides sideways, dude. That is so cool. But that's where your laser is, which is really awesome. Then you have your turret shooting and your spray button are right here as well. And the bottom. So you turn your light on. And this is also triggers your infrared laser beam. This is what you push for it to do the laser beam. So just super cool. It's really easy to do. I believe when you press up the top here, that's your laser beam. And down here would be your spray feature and your turret to shoot your nerf darts. It determines what head you have on there. So you don't have to press it a certain way. You just press it and whatever turret you have on here, it will operate it. And it is really, really cool. But check it out, you guys. We have unboxed our VNA Light Tracer multifunctional twist tank. Now I'm going to show you guys how to set it up and put these turret heads on there so you can do it the right way. Then we're going to go test this dude out. I'm ready. Let's go. Okay, guys. Here we go. Time to set up our Light Tracer twist tank. So the first thing I want to show you is how to put the Nerf Dart cartridge onto the Nerf Dart turret the right way. 
First thing you want to do is put your darts in here naturally, but you want to push your dart in, tap it all the way down in there. You don't have to mash it all the way down. Make sure it's in far enough where it goes below the top so you can rub your finger on it like this and you're not hitting any of the darts. This way it does not get jammed into your tur in the turret. So I found it's easier to put the turret on the tank first, then put your cartridge on the turret. So not real hard to do. There's a notch right here. I'm hoping you can see that. Right here's a little notch in there. This part here is your lock button. On your turret, there's a little notch right here. And that notch has to go in here. So what you're gonna do is I found it's really easy to lay your tank over and then put your connectors together. They will only go one way. And you just kind of pop them in here like so. There we go. Watch you don't pull the wires out or pinch them when you're putting your turret on top of your tank. Just kind of bend your wire up in here like so, so it's not being pinched. You're gonna find that notch and then you're gonna lock your turret in there and check it out. It's in there that easy. When you wanna take the turret off, just push this little black button right here and it will pop off. Now you're gonna put your Nerf Dart ammo holder on the Nerf Dart turret. <laughs> Important, make sure your arrow is facing upward. And all you're gonna do is there's a little button right here on the turret. You're gonna slide this button back. Let's see if I can do this and show you guys. Hard to do it with the camera in front of me, but I'm gonna do it. You're gonna take your uh, cartridge and you're gonna slide it in at an angle just like this. Pull this button back. Slide your cartridge in like so, and check it out. It's in there. You want to make sure this wheel back here is in this groove right here so it will turn properly. Make sure your arrow, check it out, is facing upward like that. And if you can see inside here, probably not, but our dart is right in there. You want to make sure you can see the orange head of your dart through the launcher part. This is where it's gonna come out of your tank. And that's it, check it out, you guys. We're on here, we're good to go. You can adjust this up and down. You have your laser pointer, that slides right on this front piece here, and you're good to go, check it out. Woo! That easy, guys, it's really not hard. You just wanna take your time, make sure it's lined up right. Otherwise, it's going to jam. It's not going to spin and shoot these uh, darts out the right way. And I don't want you to think something's wrong with it. You just absolutely have to get it in there the right way. All right. So we're going to pop it off just like that. And turn our laser light off here. And now we're going to take this one out. There we go. All right. Now... We're going to do our bubble turret. This one's so cool. Our bubble turret. Our bubbles come out through here. Remember I showed you there's a door back here that you're going to open up. Now, it does not come with bubbles. It doesn't what? come with a bottle of bubbles. You can make your own or you can absolutely buy a bottle from the store. Any brand of bubble will work. Even if you make your own and you do it the right way, there's hundreds of recipes, I guess you could call it online google it show you how to make the perfect bubbles but all you're going to do is fill this up you're going to put it doesn't matter which of these holes these tubes go in you just have to put them both in through the holes here once you get them started like so then you're going to slide them in like that the longer of the two you want to slide all the way down to the bottom. And then you're going to take your bottle, just like this, and you're going to put it up in here at an angle, and it will pop in there, making sure you don't bend those. There is a little groove here, so you're good. It won't pinch it. And that's it. Check it out. Your bottle of bubbles is in your turret. Lock the door. Assemble it the same way you did the Nerf Dart turret. I won't make you go through all that again. It's really easy to do. Same way. Remember, always watch. You don't pinch this wire. They give you plenty of extra to have room to do it. You just want to kind of tuck it up inside here so you don't pinch the wire or it probably won't lock. Or if you do, it's probably going to uh, sever your wire and it's not going to work. But 
that's our bubble launcher set up and ready to go. Same thing with your water spray turret. You're going to take this thing that it came with here, this little holder. I don't have any water on me, but I found it's easier. Just get a bowl or a cup, fill it with water, use cold water, and you're going to squeeze this all the way in, stick it in the water, and let it go, and it will slowly expand, and it will bring all the water up into your thing here. It's the easiest way, to, pretty much the only way to do it, but you're going to undo your cap right here, and you're just going to take this, and you're going to squeeze it in. Don't spray it in real quick. You want to squeeze it in till your water comes up to this little top part here, and you're just going to close your little rubber cap. Again, same way, pops right on your turret, same way the Nerf Dart did one, and your spray feature is ready to go. That's pretty much it, you guys. I'll show you the controller and everything else. Let's go get this dude out in my living room, and we're going to test him out, give him a little test drive, and see what he can do. I'm excited. Let's go try this thing out. Okay, guys, here we go. We're going to check out our VNA Light Tracer Twist Tank. Let's start this dude up. I'm going to pair the controller and watch what this thing does. It's really cool. Check it out. <laughs> he starts up. That's cool. But now I want to show you guys how this thing transformed from normal mode, which it's in now, to four-wheel drive mode. This is such a cool transition. Watch this, you guys. This is awesome. Check that out. <laughs> That's so cool. So we'll keep him up here in four-wheel drive mode. I'm going to drive him around and show you guys how he moves around. Check that out. Great movement on him. He moves great, too. Now, on shag carpet, he does work on shag, but I noticed it will drain the battery a lot quicker. So just keep that in mind when you're doing him on shag carpet. But he'll move around on it, and he slides side to side. That's cool. That's awesome, and I love the way he spins around. Check this out. <laughs> That's just awesome. All right, so with the power button, you can also turn the LED lights off and on, and you can make it play some music. So I'll go through them and show you guys. Check this out. So there's three different songs that it plays. Then you can turn all the sounds off and leave just the LED lights on, or you can even turn the LED lights off if you don't want them on. Check that out. This would actually be the best way to get the prolonged life out of the battery without the lights flashing because they do drain the battery a little bit. Not quickly, though, so you can leave them on. You're still going to get close to that hour of playtime on them. But that is just really cool. All right, so he does a couple of demo modes. I'm going to see if I can keep him in the camera while he does it. He tends to move all over the place, but I'll do one, and I'll see if we can uh, keep him in the camera while he does it. They're, pretty, they're actually pretty cool. It's the button on the lower right of your controller. You tap this, and he'll does his, he does his own little uh, performance for you. Watch this. That out. That's cool. That's the demo mode. That is pretty cool. So now I'm going to show you guys this light tracer effect because this is really what this thing is all about. And I'm really impressed at how well it works. Back him up here a little bit and I'm going to show you guys how this works. So on your controller, you press the bottom of your controller trigger and just point the light at him. Check this out, you guys. Look at that. Four-way sensing, check it out. And it works really good, too. <laughs> That's awesome. The kids are going to love that feature. That is really cool. All right, so let's check out some of the turrets this dude has on him. So I'm going to back him up here a little bit. And we're going to try 
our Nerf dart turret out. Here we go. Oh, don't you guys see that? Watch this. <laughs> they come out pretty good, too. Let me back them up here and see if I can get you guys a better angle of it so you can see them coming out. Watch this. Here we go. Here we go. And I love how he does that little cockback thing and he makes that little sound. That is really cool. They come out pretty quick, too. That's awesome. You can see there we've emptied our Nerf cartridge out. So now I'm going to switch them out here, you guys, and I'm going to show you guys the bubble turret. So let's put the bubble turret on here and we'll check that one out. This one's really cool, too. All right, guys, we have our bubble turret on. Check this out. This is so cool. I'm going to bring them closer to the... Uh, Hold on, I hit the wrong button. <laughs> I'm going to bring them closer to this camera and check these bubbles out, you guys. They actually come pouring out of here pretty good, too. This is cool. Here we go, bubbles. Look at that. You can spin them around and just litter the room with bubbles. Check that out. That is just cool. <laughs> they come out big time, too. There's a lot of bubbles. <laughs> That is awesome. That was our bubble turret. Very cool. All right, now we're going to check out. Are you guys ready for this one? This is the spray mist one. This is kind of my favorite turret because it just impresses me how it can do this with just plain water in it. But watch this. We're going to check out the spray mist turret now, or the spray turret as they call it. All right, guys, here we go. The spray turret. I'm going to turn around. This one actually faces backwards because it's really cool because it actually makes it look like there's smoke coming out of this tank, which is really cool. I'm going to back him up closer to this other camera I have here. And hopefully you guys can see this smoke really good. I call it smoke. It's mist, but it looks like smoke. All right. We should be good right there. Check this out, you guys. That is so cool, and I love the LED light effect when it does it. It lights it up. It looks even more like smoke. I'm going to back him up here closer to this camera. Whoop, too far. Hold on. I'm having fun with this thing, you guys. All right, here we go. Check this out. That's just awesome, you guys. All right, guys, I'm going to get this dude ready, and I'm going to put him right here, because check this out, you guys. This, you guys, is V&A's other model twist tank. What? Super cool. I love the blue and the black. It's really sharp. Check this out. But what I really love, guys, is watch this. You can actually control both tanks at the same time without the controllers interfering with each other. Check this out. <laughs> I mean, that's just awesome. And with the different colors, you can get all the kids one. They can have some little tank battles in the living room. It's so much fun to do. Check that out, you guys. Now, the laser lights will interfere with each other. They can't determine which laser is from which controller. So always keep that in mind. But that is super cool, you guys, that you can actually control both of them at the same time without the controllers interfering with each other. There you have it, guys. That's VNA's Light Tracer Twist Tank. These things are awesome, you guys. I would absolutely recommend getting a couple of these for the kids. Hell, get yourself one, too. They're absolutely a blast to play with, you guys. And at under 65 bucks right now on Amazon, that's a great price for these little tanks, you guys. The link for both tanks is down in the description. That's going to do it for this video, you guys. Remember, hit that subscribe and that notify button. Till next time, have fun. Stay safe out there, you guys. Ready.